In this video, we will be looking at the third row of Moodle 2.0's HTML editor. Items can be displayed in a list, either an unordered list or an ordered list. Items on a line can be indented or outdented. The next button allows you to insert a link or a hyperlink from some text or an image on the resource to another file or website. Either write in the URL or web address of the site you would like to link to, or if you would like to link to a file, click on this button to browse for a file on your computer. Target allows you to choose how this file or website will open, whether it will open in the same window or in a new window. The other two options can also be useful at times. The title can be left blank. It is simply what is displayed when you hover over your link with the mouse. Once you are done, click Insert. Text that is linked is usually formatted blue and underlined. The next button allows you to remove a link and this button prevents automatic linking, usually from a glossary. Sometimes you may want to insert an image into your resource. Either put the URL or web address of the image you would like to link to, or find and upload an image from your computer. Click Browse, find the image you would like to use, and upload it. You will see a preview of your image. In the Appearance tab you can make further changes such as alignment, manually change the dimensions of your image, and change the space around the image or put a border on it. These however can just be left as they are. Before inserting an image, you must put an image description. Then click Insert. An image can be resized simply by clicking on it and dragging on the handles that appear. Other media such as videos and sound can be added in a similar way using the Moodle Media button. Special characters can be inserted using the Insert Custom Character button. You will see that there is a wide range of characters to choose from, some of the most useful being the copyright, registered or trademark symbols. Tables can be used to organise content. Simply type in the number of columns or rows that you would like. Cell padding and cell spacing can be useful when there is a lot of content in your tables. You can choose its alignment, whether or not it has a border, and how thick it is. You can even specify a width and height for your table. Under the Advanced tab, you can choose things such as background image, border colour or background colour for your table. Once you are done, click Insert. In order to put information in your table, simply click in a cell and start typing. To put information in a different cell, click in that cell. And so on. Images can also be inserted into your table. HTML view allows you to see and possibly edit the underlying HTML code of your resource. Even non-programmers can sometimes make useful changes in this view. If you have made some changes, click Update, otherwise click Cancel to return to your editing window. The last button is the Spell Checker. By clicking on the little drop down menu, you get to choose which language your spell checker is going to check your resource in. 
Once you have chosen your language, simply click the button and it will check your spelling. Any words that aren't in the spell checker's dictionary are underlined in red. Click once on an underlined word and it will bring up a list of suggestions. That is the end of the third row of Moodle 2.0's HTML editor.